Hi everyone, continuing AvWeb's coverage of electric airplanes. What you're looking at is the first flight of the Bi Aerospace E Flyer 2. It's about two years away from certification, according to the company. Let's get an update on the program. So, this is the E Flyer 2 proof of concept airplane, and we've been flying it now for the last three or four weeks with a proof of concept, a pre production Siemens motor. And right now, we're in the process of exchanging this pre-production motor for the full production Siemens motor. Uh, getting ready to go to Aero Friedrichshafen, so we're, we're doing some, uh, some work as we transition from a flight test phase to this motor, motor swap out. This is a Siemens 90 kilowatt motor, uh, AC motor, uh, three phase, you can see the, the three wires here, the three phase electric motor. 90 kilowatts is 115 horsepower, so for a 2,000 pound uh, trainer, it's just the right balance of torque and thrust and weight. The propeller on the airplane will be a three blade uh, fixed ground adjustable uh, for the uh, flight test phase. When we go into production, it'll be a fixed pitch prop, com all composite prop. As we've gone through this flight test phase the last uh, three or four weeks, um, we're using a, a basic battery pack. While we're in the swap out to the production Siemens motor, we're going to add an additional battery pack to get the uh, voltage uh, up and to, to look at longer endurance uh, flight time with the next series of flight tests coming up later in April and May. Uh, we're using an LG Chem uh, lithium ion battery and it's 260 watt hours per kilogram. Watt hour is a measure, measure of energy and then of course kilogram per unit weight. So over the last five, six years of flight test, we've gone from 100 to 160 to 200 and now 260 watt hours per kilogram. So a nice progression in improvement of lithium ion batteries. We expect that to continue to improve, but we've fixed now on this battery pack design together with the FAA and the FAA certification program so that our market entry and certification in about two years time will be using this chemistry in this very safe battery pack design. In April of last year, we made our type certificate application for the airplane, for the two-seat trainer. Now the new FAA amendment to Part 23 allows for electric aircraft for the first time in history. And just a few months before that, uh, the FAA made available a review and then put in force the new FAR Part 23. Uh, there's four levels under that amendment that allows electric and under level one electric is permitted that is the certification basis that we have now begun with the FAA to bring the e-flyer to certification and to market. So certification is a two to three year time frame uh, we're holding to that we're on track for that uh, first half of 2021 maybe even late in the first quarter right in there is kind of where we're targeting the, the complete certification and the initial production. And of course, what's fun is delivery to our customers, uh, first part of 2021. The E-Flyer 2 is a composite airplane. Uh, we use the right kind of material science and characteristic for the carbon fiber structure, the, the, the main load bearing uh, pieces. We use a fiberglass type of a composite for non-load bearing uh, structures. 2,000 pounds of gross weight, 450 pounds of payload. Uh, typical speeds, you know, from 55 to 90 knots, 60 to 90 knots for training, but we go all the way out to 135 knots for top speed and 1,000 feet per minute rate of climb. So uh, for a three hour flight trainer, oh my goodness, we've got tremendous performance. So 
Uh, flight endurance, of course, is based on best endurance speed, which is 73 knots KEAS. <laughs> so not particularly practical. Uh, people don't take off and go into a, a, a loiter uh, holding pattern or something, generally speaking. But what that represents when you have a three-hour airplane plus VFR, 30-minute VFR reserves, what that tells the market and the characteristic of the airplane is that we've got more than enough energy for a typical flight training sortie. One hour, 1.3 hours, in fact, a quick charge, and we're ready to go right into the second sortie. Quick charge, right into the third, third sortie. So the airplane has the energy storage for the mission that it's been designed to do, flight training. So this is our full-scale mock-up of the production airplane. And we use this because as you go from uh, computer-aided design to real humans, we want to look at entry and exit ease, uh, handholds, of course, structural doors uh, and viewpoints. But it also shows kind of our transition from our prototype to the production where we've got now a 46 inch wide uh, cabin. Uh, very, very nice, but as we kind of go through this, we want to make sure the ergonomics work for our, our pilots and our, our students.